Welcome to our bulletin. Our sign language interpreter this evening is Lucy Moura. Now, the country is ill-prepared to handle cases of the Ebola hemorrhagic disease. Doctors affiliated to the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Pharmacist Dentist Union have subsequently called on the government to put in place standard operating procedures in all health facilities to ensure that if a case is detected, it is handled immediately. The doctors claim that the fact that the Sudan strain of Ebola that has been detected in Uganda does not have a known vaccine could compound the situation in Kenya if a case of Ebola was to be confirmed with the current low level of preparedness. The doctors dismissing claims by the Ministry of Health that the country is well equipped. Our borders are extremely porous and uh, there is also no clear cut uh, systems have been put in place to show that those who are coming in are actually getting tested and there is a process that is, uh, is taking to contain that. So as of now we will say the, bo the borders are very porous and therefore more need to be done and more need to be beefed in it to make it better. And therefore there's, it's, there's, there's value to have a vibrant, robust and resilient public health care system that in case we have a case in the country, we will be sure that it can be contained and we can act to it. They are urging the government to employ more health workers, train them on the responsive mechanism when dealing with Ebola-related cases, and more so conduct rapid screening at the border point as they intensify border surveillance. We need to have a response team, surveillance, and effective case management, that if a case occurs in any of our borders, then there would be a scare to have many healthcare workers having been exposed before results come in. It should be able to be identified, contained and managed. We are also working on um, supplies, particularly test kits, and this will not only be for Uganda but also the surrounding countries uh, in terms of readiness. Uh, and um, we are um, reviewing um, the um, uh, PPE um, the stockpiles that we have to ensure that they are being made available as quickly as possible where they are needed within the country and at border points um, with uh, the neighboring country. Kenya has no confirmed cases of Ebola deaths. This, even as neighboring Uganda, the first doctor and second health worker died of Ebola on Saturday. The doctor is a Tanzanian national studying in Uganda. So far, a total of 31 cases of Ebola have been confirmed and six deaths reported in Uganda. The healthcare workers are calling upon the government to invest more on health sector that will combat any effect of Ebola case in the country. Opicho Chemtai for Legend Edition.